my fellow comic book collectors, it's Alan, the Comic Collector Geek, and I'm joined with both Ricky and Steven. Uh, so Ricky from All Sorts of Words, um, he's been going down a rabbit hole, and he's going to talk about that rabbit hole uh, with us today, um, about the Adams Family and <laughs> where they made their first appearance. Sounds like a, a simple question, but not a simple question. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Where did they make the first appearance? And this actually happens with a lot of things. Like if you try to find out where's Tarzan's first appearance or where's whatever characters. Well, real you have first to say the one. You have to say the one that's driving you crazy. Popeye. Oh, Popeye. Oh my goodness, Popeye. It seemed like a simple question, and then you know, there's like about thirty thousand different books that you have to go through. In this video, we're going to look at the Adams family. We're going to try to figure out all the characters' first appearances. Uh, Ricky knows. Hopefully he's right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get in there. There's, there's a, a Hulk 180, 181 situation. And uh, there's a bunch of situations like that in Adam's family. Like if you think Hulk 180 and 181 is convoluted and stupid, like get ready folks. Okay. So cool. um, I did a bit of searching before this video uh, actually. And I, I was finding some of the books and one of the things that I did uh, was you know, I did want to have the first Wednesday. I, I thought, oh, you know, I had the comic, you know, the, the comic that everyone knows, the gold key one, which the has pink all cover, the pink cover. Now I had that, but then you sort of sent me on this rabbit hole of saying, oh, there might be something before that. So I looked on Comic Vine because Comic Vine says, where's the first appearances of certain characters? Okay. And usually it's pretty good. Usually, you know, maybe I'd say 70% accurate. Okay, so I went there and I searched up Wednesday, and it said um, the movie, uh, the the book Nightcrawlers was the first appearance. And well, yeah, you're <laughs> you're saying no, you're saying no, and no. So I immediately ran out and bought a copy of Nightcrawlers, and I'm like, but then I found out there's earlier books. That's like from 1957, and so that was my beginning of the rabbit hole. Hopefully you can save me from like, I can know, save either... you so much time and I can save yeah. everybody so much money. And I'm no joke. Uh, folks out there who are watching and are wondering like, should I, should I pop off and maybe like go somewhere else? I'm telling you for the five people that are going to show up tonight and jump <laughs> on this live stream, I'm telling you, they're going to go buy the books and they're not going to exist. So stick around. We'll go over the numbers because they're cheap but they don't exist. Like he was looking yeah, for Wednesday. Really? I literally bought the last Wednesday. I, there, there isn't another one on the internet. Go, good luck. Go find one. It doesn't exist. So you got it, the New Yorker copy, right? The yeah, I'll show, I'll show them all. I got them all. Don't worry about it. Don't okay, worry about so it. So let's get into it. Let's, let's start. Tell okay. us about your journey. So I, I have had a love for the Adams family, uh, my whole life. And it was the Raul Julia, Angelica Houston movies. Um, yeah, they, they were great. They were great. And I have this vivid memory of um, seeing the Adams Family movie in theaters and like falling on the floor and being like, ew. It's this, it's this memory in my head of just like, I got, I touched the floor with my skin and I got sewed. It was disgusting. But I have, I've okay. always had this like vivid memory of it. And, um, I was talking to my mother and I was like verifying that memory. Did that happen? She was like, yeah, you fell in the, you were rolling around because you were an annoying little kid. And we took you <laughs> to the Adams family when it came out. And I'm like, that was 1991 mom. I was six. And she's like, oh yeah, it was a big mistake. But so I wow. have this memory. And since that was, so I realized that was the first scary thing I saw and could tolerate i was a fraidy cat little kid if freddie was on the mm -hmm. tv i would either run or cry i, I didn't way. like i you're good <laughs> i didn't <laughs> like um wrestling in the 80s mm -hmm. when i was there for it because i felt like the wrestlers doing their promos were threatening me and it scared <laughs> the bejesus out of me they were i'm coming for you in your sleep <laughs> that was mm -hmm. that was my reaction so the the fact that this I'm I'm a huge horror nerd now like I give mm -hmm. all of my love for horror to the fact that like as a young kid this creepy thing was accessible to me it wasn't it, it I know it's mysterious and spooky but th they made it safe to like horror and it was fun and it was scary but it was in a, in a safe way I never felt threatened so I said you know what 
I did the Alan thing. I was like, I'm going to look up the first appearance of the Adams family. Where, where did mm -hmm. they first appear? Mm -hmm. uh, turns out in brief, in brief, and we'll go into detail yeah, yeah. in brief, all of the members of the Adams family, most of them, I should say showed up in New Yorker magazine in the, uh, either thirties or forties. That was all of their yeah. first appearances. And then one member of the family showed up in the sixties and in the New Yorker and another member of the family showed up in the sixties only in a book. And then the next time they showed up was in the TV show. So okay. in brief, grandma. that sounds, that sounds really easy. No, grandma, I have heard. Don't worry about it. Um, grandma is actually <laughs> a pretty major character for the granny frump. The, yeah. Can, grandma I, can I just say one thing that, that sure. uh, uh, blossom rock who was grandma Ma on the TV show, Blossom Rock was the sister of Jeanette McDonald. And her, her stage name was Mag Magic. Magic, I think of her name. She married a guy named Rock. But Jeanette McDonald, who was this huge singing star, beautiful redhead. and uh, uh, But Grandmama was made up to be a, a complete uh, witch and, and horrible. But she was an actress in the 30s and the 40s with, of some distinction. But she was also the sister of Jeanette McDonald. And you look at Jeanette and you look at her and you go, oh, my God, what the hell happened? Anyway, yeah. that's all I got. Sorry. <laughs> she no, married man. a guy named Rock. We don't know she married people. a guy whose last name was Rock. <laughs> Blossom Rock. That's right. a sweet okay. name. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, it, okay. So, in brief, 1937, Charles okay. Adams released a – well, he submitted a cartoon to the New Yorker in, in 37. I don't have this I issue. I really – too, actually. His first accepted – piece well the Yorker. skiing one right yeah the skiing so, one where it's going around the tree yes so if you skier. if you google just google charles adams skiing and you'll see the image mm -hmm. it's it's a pretty benign picture it's it's a guy looking over his shoulder and he sees someone who had been skiing he sees the trail and there's a tree in the path and the skis in the Go trail around. have gone around the tree so like and there's how no one on the it? tree <laughs> and there's no one in the tree and it's 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 weird people in the 30s literally lost their mind when they saw this image. Mm -hmm. They thought it was the funniest thing in the world. And they wrote into the New Yorker and they were like more, more of that. Yeah, the yeah. New Yorker since 1925 was a cultural magazine. A lot of authors, famous authors like Ray Bradbury submitted um, first stories to the New Yorker. So they were reprinted later in books, but mm -hmm. this is where they got their start. Kind of a, I always think of the New Yorker as a bit snobby. Like I, I think it's just the perception <laughs> of the name like, because when know, I look uh, through you know, it, Hoity toity, but you know, but that's just me. I just saying, just saying. sure, yeah. But the, I mean, like Hemingway appears in the New Yorker, and like exactly. people, yeah. So it's it's a it's a cultural <laughs> magazine. <laughs> so there's there's all these cartoons, and the, this this cartoon makes it in this skiing cartoon, and people mm -hmm. lose it because it's it's like wow, this is really funny. It's kind of the prototype for what the Far Side would be. Yes. Charles Adams yes. walked so that the Far Side could run. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and so, too. yes. And so mm -hmm. in 1938, uh, in New Yorker, uh, it's August 6th is the first appearance of, and this is, I'm already going to start contradicting myself because I'm telling you guys, it gets weird. The first appearance of what is undoubtedly Morticia, who is based after physically based after Charles Adams first wife. Like he, he oh, like okay. live so skinny, this skinny women. like kind of wafy. He liked girl. that Maris yeah. from Frasier. Um, mm -hmm. So he, that's the first appearance undoubtedly of Morticia because that character model goes on next to Morticia is a big dude, um, mm -hmm. like just a huge dude, but he's not wearing like a butler's uniform. He's wearing like, just kind of like a suit. And then yeah. in the background, there's like an old lady, not what we know to be granny Frump. Trust me, that will be important later, but it's just the shape of an old lady. You have mm -hmm. to understand in the Adams family comics, literally only uh, not comics, the, the New Yorkers. Literally only one character ever is named. All of them, it's just contextless spooky people. Yeah, and then they're text. just and they look like the characters from the show, basically. Yeah. S slowly over time. So yeah. so there the point that I'm making is the big character next to Morticia, people is have Lurch? for years just said, Oh, that must be the first appearance of Lurch. Okay. Lurch's first appearance as we know him. Uh, I have, I'll show it to you. Um, okay. Lurch, Lurch's first appearance as we know him. Um, is is a couple years later, and that's he looks the same the whole way. That's kind of Charles Adams's trick. 
he'll have a character that does something spooky that's not necessarily in Adams. But when he okay. first premieres that design, that design will stick through the character forever. Everything I just okay. said, throw it out the window when we start talking about Pugsley. But okay. anyway, 1938, there's Morticia. There's a character they're calling Lurch. It's not Lurch. And there's a grandmother in the background, a granny looking character uh, on the um, on the second floor balcony really? looking down. Not Granny Frump. So, and but we can Pugsley, we can undoubtedly say that's Morticia. Just quickly on Pugsley, just a little bit. Um, sure. When I saw some early the the early cartoons for him, he's skinny and kind of demy, like looks. See, evil. that's not Pugsley. So, okay, yeah, the first times we see Pugsley, the first times we see what the character model of Pugsley is, it's literally just Boy Scout gags. So there's mm -hmm. one where there's a bunch of people sitting around a fire and they're all tying knots and he's tying a noose. But yep. that's the design of Pugsley. There's another mm -hmm. one where all the kids are building birdhouses and he's building a coffin. That's the design of Pugsley. However, mm -hmm. we don't see Pugsley as that design in context with the Adams family until years later when, once again, he's in a Boy Scout uniform in a mirror saluting and the parents in the background are going, oh, where did we go wrong? That's mm -hmm. the gag. Mm -hmm. So the gag is good, but what I'm saying is we do know later on Pugsley puts on the uniform and his parents are upset about it. So it could be reasoned that those earlier that, appearances, that those earlier you could him. you could logic it and say like, yeah, those are Pugsley. But you could also argue that like, no, without the context, we know how Charles Adams works. This was just stories about a bad Boy Scout. So you yeah, could it, justify it either way. Everything I read was like the way he did it was that these were just almost independent characters, just one-off strips that, yep. and they weren't even named. That's the yes. weirdest thing. They weren't even named. It's not like, oh, Pugsley, you know, hey, Pugsley, come over here. Or, you know, in comics, that's a, that's a thing that writers have to do. You know, you say, hey, Thor, come over here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hello, hello, brother. Like when that yeah. awkward part in the, the beginning yeah. of the movie. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's, it's sort of a thing, but they don't do that with these strips, which is makes it really annoying. Well, I if thought trying to figure out the first appearances, <laughs> the the show that had uh, Ortega, they had the the short dumpy guy that was Gomez and the tall elegant gal that was Morticia. I mm -hmm. believe in the cartoons that was sort of like he's the short tubby guy and yep. then she's this tall lanky gal. At, it's sort of like the Trilon and the Perisphere. Yes. That's What's cute is in in all things, the thing that we first remember is the one that leaves the biggest impression. So mm -hmm. the Adams Family movie in 1991 and Adams Family Values in 1993 literally made all of the money. In fact, uh, they had the same director as the man who would direct all the Men in Black movies. So oh, if you're ever wondering, like, sense. where's that quality come from? That zhuzh, it's that same dude. Mm -hmm. um, the movies made all of the money and it really imprinted on us what we thought the image of the Adams Family what would be forever. Like, like yeah. this is what they should look like. Can However, I just say, can I just say, that the television program with Carolyn Jones and John Aston, long before those movies, because that's when I grew up, it, that was the Adams family. 64. They they took that image, they took those characterizations, which came from Charles Adams, by and large, mm -hmm. that that then were turned into Raul Julia and Angelica Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, but the but the John Aston and Carolyn Jones uh, uh, sort of her calm, Carolyn Jones' calm demeanor and all that other stuff, and Gomez being kind of off the wall, although Raul Julia, Raul Julia, I think that the movie copied the TV show is what I'm saying for yes. characterization. Oh, yeah, I do. I agree. <laughs> I, I I watched um, the... And it's not bad. I, I think it because I thought it was good what they did, but they were smart enough to actually keep those characters for how popular the television show was, and it was very popular. Yeah, I oh, that's um, all I got. Long he's in the front the sharpening the, the he's sharpening the, the spikes on the fence, you know, the metal fence in front of the house. He's he's got a file and he's sharpening the sharpening the edges on the top of the fence, you know, yeah. smilingly, you know, smiling as he does it. Amalgamated swamp. Okay, I've said enough. Go ahead. Sorry. Right. So the the, uh, the 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 point that I want to make is so that a lot of people see Adam's family characters now and they go like that's weird looking because they picture Angelica Houston and Raul mm -hmm. Julia. Of course they should because those movies are amazing. Go watch them again. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want the most accurate to comic depiction, that is, it's literally one for one. There's no variance at all. They they mm -hmm. they animated the characters. 
uh, from the from the New Yorker comic strips. It's the 2019 MGM animated movie that just came out. Oh, really? That one right there. It is <laughs> like the uh, no, see, but seriously, pull, give it a Google. Uh, give it a Google look, and look up. Uh, but in terms the, of the it look, is identical. It's but identical. in terms of the humor, not really. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, I I don't know if you've seen it. I I did watch it. It's. I watched a bit. Of, I I found it. So I thought it was fine. I, 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 I'm an I'm a grown ass oh, man, and nice. it's a children's that's, movie. What a recommendation! I thought it was fine. I did, oh, but I'm, what I'm saying it. is, Ozzy liked it. I there you go. Personally, See, I, I didn't fine. like it. I thought it was really. But the uh, gravity's different in Australia. It's different. The blood doesn't circulate. Well, to the, the brain blood's as all well flowing to the head, so they 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 don't really you know they don't. All really the water think turns clearly. the wrong way. I mean, it's just bad. <laughs> Everything's messed up there. So Matt saw Matt Atkinson saw it. And uh yeah, so if if you just I'll look have up to the, watch it again, I don't know. Well, here's all you have to do. This is all you have to do. If you just go to Google and you type in Adam Stanley 2019 and you look at the poster, that actually is the most respectful recreative sure. image of Charles That's Adams. Family. And they end it at the end of the movie. Alan didn't make it that far. I didn't but make it that far. <laughs> the movie ends and the credits roll, and they animate and recreate the John Aston original Adams Family intro motions and everything. It's perfect. You should just look it up on, on YouTube if, if you want to see that. Part. Okay. But it was I'll, it's, so it, it's a very faithful. Be more patient. I was watching it with my family. My pa my family's patience is much like I actually usually stay throughout, to, and even if it's really bad, I'll sort of watch it. But my family were so agitated and thought this was so terrible. And I, I was like, yeah, okay, I guess so. So maybe I didn't give it a proper chance. So it's I'll, a, it's I'll a, it's a children's movie. family yelling at you the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, you want to relax? Really you movie. Dad, let's go. We hate it. Man. Oh, Ozzy Collector said, I heard a sequel is already is is uh, is happening. Uh, homie, it's already out. You can it's literally watch out. it on Prime yeah, tonight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. Okay, so um, the uh, last little, little factoid: um, the okay. only named character before we look at some books, because I want to show you some books. Yeah, yeah, yeah of um, course. Uh, is the only named Adams family member throughout all of the original New Yorker strips is mm -hmm. cousin It, oh. and the the gag is you see cousin It, and he's picking up a phone, and he goes, "Yes, this is It speaking," and that's just that's the gag. We didn't know his name was cousin It, but he says it's. It's it because they, because it works for the gag. It works so for the did, gag. Is it that Charles um, Charles Adams did, didn't really like naming the characters? Is that why? No, he, you have to understand. He just he was doing Far Side before Far Side. So exactly. here's a gag about like a dumb kid. But he just, I mean, why didn't he name the characters? Is my because, because that wasn't the thrust of it. That Alan. wasn't the point. It was he just he had he had certain designs that he used over and over again. Kind of like you know how when you're watching The Simpsons and there's that teenager in the background. That yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. No he, that kid isn't meant to be its own character. He he has a million jobs in the town because he's meant to be every kid. So yeah, yeah. he has a guy that looks like a mechanic. He has a guy that looks like a disgruntled woman. And so he'll mm -hmm. use these visions over and over again. But when he did the spooky family, people thought it was hilarious. They thought it was cool and kooky. And, mm -hmm. and so people didn't have a name for it. They're like, oh, that family that the Adams guy draws, the Adams family, the family yeah, that yeah, Adam... Yeah. And so years later, name. this is my favorite part. Years later, he divorces his first wife. I can I can never remember her name. Um, Marilyn Matthews Miller, three M's, this lady. Okay. This is his second wife. She's an attorney. She marries him, divorces him. And during the acrimonious divorce, she goes, you know what? Fine. Take the house. Take the boat. I don't care. Why don't you just give me the TV rights for Adam's family and we'll call it a day. Oh, and wow. she's already got the 64 Adam's family TV negotiated and ready to go. They get the divorce. He signs the papers. Every dollar you've ever spent on the Adam's family in your entire life, whether she it's merchandising or movie that went to his ex-wife and not to him. <laughs> she took, she, she owns all merchandising and she owns, so reprint books. Yeah. He made money off that and he made a ton of money off that. Don't worry about him. But the 91 movie, the 93 movie, those million dollar checks, every cent wow. went to his wife. So that, she's, she was a smart, smart, smart woman. She was a tenacious businesswoman. He did marry a, a woman after that. Um, and that's that was his soulmate for the rest of his life. They they got married okay. uh, later in life. They had a marriage in a, in a swamp. They got oh, yeah, married. That's what you do. Yeah. That's okay, what you do when you're spooky. And so mm -hmm. uh, they, they were together till the end. But his second wife, Marilyn Matthews Miller, 
um, yes, she made all the money. Rick, you know, it's interesting because that is not a, a sadly, that's not a, a, an unusual occurrence. If you've ever watched Technicolor movies, if you're, if you're a movie file of any sort, you'll see the name Natalie Kalmus at the, in, the, in the credits for the early uh, fully Technicolor movies. And Natalie Kalmus married old Doc Kalmus, who was the one who designed and created the three color camera. And she married him and then they got a divorce and then she got all the rights to Technicolor. Mm -hmm. And so she required that every movie that was produced using Technicolor <laughs> would have a credit with her saying that uh, Technicolor consultant, Natalie Kalmus and all wow. the credits. So if you ever see her name, that's all that is, is a gold digger bitch who basically mm -hmm. screwed over poor Doc Kalmus for his the Technicolor camera that he designed and built that the courts gave to that that witch. So anyway, it's sadly uh, what happened to, to uh, Mr. Adams is not an unusual occurrence. Sadly, there are some yeah, but I I will say um, Adams wasn't the one making the show happen. Adams wasn't the one that negotiated for the movie. No, no, of she course, was a businesswoman. He wasn't. So she, I mean, it, it's kind of like, do how much credit do we give to Stanley? I'd say that would probably be a better analogy. Like, like uh, Chaz Adams, he likes to go by Chaz as a as a consummate yeah, yeah, Ricky. Chaz, yeah, yeah, but, as a consummate Ricky, Ricky. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Call oh, don't you even Rick. worry about it. But like, as a as a Ricky and not a Richard, I I sympathize. So I do try mm -hmm. to remember to call him Chaz. But um, uh, I've always seen it as. Charles Chaz Adams, like you know, where right because he they, goes they and they make it like his middle name is, or something. Even his signatures uh, towards the end of his life, like it was only he would just write Chaz. Uh, so it's yeah, it's yeah. common to see both. So I don't think you have an, a, a bum signature if you see both. Really, it's the Adams. Do you have an autograph picture yet? I don't, but I do want to buy an autograph because uh, he does you little must. sketches. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. let me show Wait, let's you. Let's get into some of the books. Let's, let's show, show some, some weird. Books. Let's show some weird stuff. Okay, so this yeah, is the. I'm gonna make you big so you can show yeah. some books. Okay. Um, so this is uh this is one that you can find right now. If you go on eBay right now, you can find this, and then you can cannibalize Wait, wait it and... for a little bit after the video so that I can buy a copy first. Roger. Yeah. No. Alan's gonna have this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alan's at a disadvantage. Uh, this is New Yorker, November twenty fifth, nineteen thirty nine. This cool moose cover. Okay. There's the date for everybody out there. November mm -hmm. 25th. Okay. November 25th, 39. This is, and this is a, this is a beautiful big page. Some of them are smaller cartoons. Some of them take up two thirds a page. This is a big page. This is the first appearance of Lurch as we know him. Okay. And the gag is... She looks around at her butler and she says, oh, it's you. For a moment, you gave me quite a start. As in like she was expecting him to be this enormous creature. Mm. But there it is. That's the first appearance of Lurch. It's an early appearance of um, Morticia? Morticia. This is actually, I think this is in the first three. No, this is the fourth appearance of Morticia. Um, because there's, there's two gags where it involves her uh by herself um one of them she's asking for food um from a witch character who's not granny frump i'll fight that uh one of them is her like leading a man to back home after a date and it's it's a ladder into a sewer um but there are appearances of morticia this is an early appearance of morticia um after that we have this is this is the big one um there's only one other copy on ebay right now and it's slabbed in an 80 for 800 dollars Oh, wow. This is uh, November 14th, uh, 1942. This cover is also uh, Chaz Adams. It's a World War II cover. Oh, really? Yep. With the zeros uh, with the ancient zeros on the plate, like, like a Ming plate, yeah. Dynasty plate, when it has zeros up above as they're being bombed during the war. I love it. Yeah, it, it's like yeah, a commemorative plate one. of the war. See, Chaz Adams right there. Mm -hmm. cool. And he's writing Chaz, not Charles. Yeah, I saw that. Um, this one is a mega key because uh, not only is this the first Gomez, but this the first Gomez immediately pairs him with Morticia so that you know they're an item. And there it is. Oh, very cute. It's very cute. <laughs> what's, what's Are you unhappy, dear? Yes, yes, completely. 
<laughs> the, okay, this is real. Once you're done here, go to YouTube, open up a different app, open up a different tab if you want, right? Matt, and he would have been too old for the army at that time. Uh, yeah, I don't know how old he was at this time. I think he was because he started working with in 32 so i imagine he'd be in his 40s so if if you go on youtube and you type in gomez and morticia the first result you'll see it's a clip from the 1991 movie the thumbnail i, I looked at it today the thumbnail is of angelica houston with her hand over her head she's sleeping yeah gomez walks into the room and he says like this woman i would die for her i would kill for her and she wakes up and watch the flipping clip that is their first lines together in the movie. That is how much of a deep cut this this is. Okay, very cool. So they knew they there's a lot of references in that movie, a lot of references in that movie um, that appeared in these books. They really went back to the source material to make that 91 movie. Mm -hmm. um, here is this is a cheap one. You can get this right now. 20 bucks. Go eat them. Alan won't stand a chance. April 12th, 1947, kind of a Joker card card cover. They even did this effect where the, the New Yorker is upside down on the other side. Okay. And then the significance of this book. How oh, hoity-toity. I'm saying. Uh, this is the first <laughs> appearance of Uncle Imer. Uh, Uncle Imer is a character that is like normal, that appears. He's kind of a gag character. He appears in the 64 show and in the 91 movie, when uh, Morticia is going to go threaten um, uh, Fester Adams and say, like, I know you're not who you say you are. She takes him to the cemetery and she shows him all the headstones of the dead Adams and, like, talks mm -hmm. about how they died grisly deaths. And the last one she names is Uncle Imer as a reference to Imer. this character. Um, there it is. And, incidentally, this is also the first, what I would argue, is Granny Frump. Oh. So you can get the, um, a key member of the Adams family in the golden age, 1947, no joke for like 20 to 30 bucks right now. Well, after, this is just, after yeah, I get them, please. After you get them. Um, <laughs> this is the, this is the big, big, big one. Um, and I'll, I'm showing it. You'll see why I'm showing it the way that I'm showing it because it is a completely detached and split cover. This is the front cover and the back oh, cover. Oh yeah, that's. I've seen just the cover of that available, not the actual interior. Well, I have the interior. I'll get to it. But I just wanted to show this. The reason why I love this. So this is um, 1944, August 26th. I can I can always remember the year. I can't remember the date. Um, this is uh, the first appearance of Wednesday Adams. So if you see this, you buy this. But <laughs> what is the luck. date again? Uh, August 26th, 1944. Okay. It's the first Wednesday Adams, and I love this. This picture, everybody looks at it and it's just like, oh, it's just a, it's just a cool picture, right? Okay, sure. Um, this is called the kids came home early, yeah. and there's a car full of kids, and there's mom and dad hiding their liquor and their cigarettes yeah. are still burning. Yeah, I thought that was funny. I love that. It's such a good gag. But I mean, mm -hmm. like the more I see this stuff of the New Yorker, the more of the sense of humor they had, I'm like, I want to just keep collecting these for funsies. But here it is. Yeah, they had some pretty good ones, actually. I, I'm curious if you're going to find one of the books that I found. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is the um, this is the first appearance of Wednesday. Okay. And then Stepo, if you can, if you can just read that for, for the class. I cannot. I'm sorry. Oh, it's too small. It's just. Uh, it says. Well done. Well, don't come whining to me. Go tell him you'll poison him right back. And there's his like she's going to tattle, <laughs> and there's Pugsley in the background looking like a dick. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Pugsley was kind of skinny and like not the Pugsley from the the you know where he's pudgy looking. Yeah, I mean he he gets stocky. I guess there's the the Boy Scout images of him get make him look like barrel chested for a kid. Um. Those are the New Yorkers that I have, but we need to talk about, we have to talk about the books. Charles Adams, Homebodies, first print. This is, and they do have multiple editions because he they, he sold well. Um, mm -hmm. Where is, this is, uh, I can never remember the year for this one. Uh, 54. 
This is not mm -hmm. his first book. His yeah, first I knew book. Yeah, fifty four. Sorry, I knew that. His first book is this forty two. This is the that's the first, but we'll say that in a second. Uh, okay, so home bodies, right? Uh, it's got two big images. One, uh, this is a reprint of a, a picture in the uh, in the New Yorker. This just says "for sale, inquire within." <laughs> right? Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it looks like the Adams family out uh, house. Uh, I just wanted to point that out. It, it, there aren't very many pictures of like the house in totality. That's one of them. Okay, so there's um, a book that I I know that you don't know about then. Oh, good. Because um, <laughs> then I want it. Uh, but this is this is the significant reason for this book. Uh, we have. The family just kind of sitting around doing their own thing, right? But if you look on the record player, they're using human hands to do the records. Uh, oh, that's like cool. the disembodied hands. That little hand, though, is, is supposed to be the first appearance of the thing because that saint, the Adams family is really famous and good at using their gags from these books. So, for example, one of the earlier issues shows uh, of the New Yorker shows the family on top of the roof tipping over a cauldron onto carolers, which is the beginning of the 91 movie. There's yeah. lots of images like that that they reuse, gags they reuse, um, even lines they reuse. If you need anything, scream. That appeared in an Adams Family yeah, yeah, yeah. New Yorker book. That image of the hand being the needle on the record is used in Adams Family Values. Yeah, I remember that. Used yeah. in 64. So it, you can reasonably say that like that image inspired what would come later because they, they pulled from the ideas all the time. So I think you can make a logical argument that that is the first appearance of Thing. Okay. So I have that book. So that's good. That's... Good. You got the, okay. you got, Alan got a thing, everybody. I got a thing. Um, <laughs> My first in thing. In brief. So I, I, I was telling the story before we got on. I purchased... Uh, buy it now a copy of drawn and quartered first edition 1942 this is the first far side book of its kind so if you've ever seen those far side books where it's just it's just lots of different cartoons all bound into one this is the first book of that kind and uh it again chaz adams not charles chaz mm -hmm. <clears throat> um this is the first, effectively, the first reprint in one place of multiple Adams Family drawings. And there are exclusive Adams Family drawings that didn't make it into the newspaper. These books that they have, they'll mm -hmm. tell you in the indicia, um, pages this, 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 credit to the New Yorker. But that means everything else in the book is original for the book because he wanted to sell books, not just reprints. Mm -hmm. But what was weird is I bought this Buy It Now and I, I had bid on another auction for another first print. So I just... I knew I was going to get it and it was really cheap. Like I paid, I think 25 for this buy it now. And then the auction one, I won for like $15. So I was like, you know what? It's 15 bucks. I'll find another Adams family fan. They'll, they'll love it. It'll be cool. Um, nope. Not giving it away because fell down another rabbit hole of these are both identified as first print in the Indicia. And they're clearly different sizes. This one is bigger format, but this one has better pictures. So like okay. this one has richer colors, black and white. They're all, yeah. but like they're, they're better. This one's just okay, bigger. Here's a weird question about those books. So you just said that that's from 1942. 42. But we got Wednesday appearing in 1944. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And... There's no Wednesday in these. Okay. The, and then Wednesday, Gomez... Wednesday doesn't start showing up until Homebody is 54. Okay. And then uh, Gomez didn't appear until November of 1942. So mm -hmm. is Gomez in there? Uh, let's see. Let me find in Adam. The, the first edition is from 1945, you said? Uh, 42. 42. 42, okay. 42. And they're, and they're, they're wild cartoons, and they're really fun. Um, I'm just trying to find N. Adams one. I know that this these are, if, if you don't want to hunt down the ind individual Pugsleys because you, you don't hate yourself, um, these are a great way of getting them because they all the Pugsleys are in here because he was a he was a spooky character. Uh, like, see, look, look how many pages I've turned. I still haven't seen a single Adams drawing yet uh, of the Adams family. This is more a showcase of Chaz Adams than it is anything to do with the Adams family. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, here's one. Uh, this is an early Morticia. 
and lurch. And there's a guy fixing their trap door in the wall. Okay. Um, but I'll see if there's, because I know. And so when did, when did Morticia make her first appearance? 38. And that's the August 8th, 1938 book. Yes. That is. So that's the first uh, August 6th, 1938, right? Uh, yes. Um, so, so for example, here it is. This is what I'm talking about. This is like a, this is like, you could argue this is an early Pugsley. This looks nothing like Pugsley. But the spirit of the image of there's a spooky Boy Scout is alive and well. But one of the first times we see Pugsley is when he's um, he's wearing the Boy Scout and saluting himself and his parents are going, where did it go wrong? Okay, here's an interesting one. Mm-hmm. This is in the book. It's a little girl and she's just got pigtails and she's counting like 23,000, 24,000, right? Mm-hmm. I found a historian with no... Uh, you can find the text. I, I've been going down the rabbit hole, just typing in Adam's family member first appearance, then just going down, down, down. So it keeps yeah, scrolling yeah. until I find new stuff I haven't read yet. I found a person who's a literary historian who says that's the first appearance of Wednesday Adams. There is nothing in this image that looks like Wednesday Adams. Wednesday wouldn't be caught dead jump roping. There's, she's in a yeah. city setting. She's not in the country where the mansion is. I, I can't see a reason to believe that that's Wednesday Adams, but they're, that's what I'm saying about like conflicting information. And yeah, that's very, that's very wrong. I think I would, <laughs> I don't think I would agree. I don't think that's Wednesday. I don't think that's Wednesday either. And um, I noticed when he ever drew, whenever he drew Wednesday in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, all the images that I saw, she, she had the typical big head. Actually she was, she was smiling a lot, which I thought was interesting. And she had the pigtails, the, the two pigtails and it was okay. very consistent. So there's, here it is. This and here's one. Uh, there's just a reprint of what I just showed you. Of oh yes, the, nice. The lurch appearance. So, yeah, I mean, you you might buy this first print book thinking like, oh, this is going to be just chock full of golden age Adams. No, you're. I mean, Alan's got you know nail on the head. A lot of these characters just didn't exist yet. Oh, here's a skiing one. That's the. Oh yeah, one that's that's about. one I was saying. Yeah. People thought this was wild. Sending in letters being like this guy. People, their minds were blown. Okay, but here again, that evil Boy Scout motif. Yeah, There's a guy saying, and he's, he's about to hang himself. Looking. But like later on, we will see Pugsley in an evil Boy Scout position. So is that Pugsley? No, I would argue not. Um, so there is a there is room for debate and room for belief. Okay, here we are. This oh, is the <laughs> first Matt says maybe that's Tuesday Adams. <laughs> <laughs> So this is what I'm talking about. This is the first image. Um, this is the 1938 book. This is the first image of Morticia. Um, it's the first image of Morticia. That's her next to what I believe to be just a, 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 like a prototype. It doesn't of, look like Lurch. I no, say it doesn't Lurch. look like him. And it, But uh, former editors who have given interviews have said like, oh yeah, that's the first appearance now, of Lurch. Who is the character that's up above there? That, so you, it, you here we go again. Hulk 180, 181. If you want to argue that that's Granny Frump, I think that, you have a reasonable argument. That's fine. It looks like, it looks like Granny. It looks, granny it looks like her. Yeah. It, so the thing is, though, it kind of doesn't. But it, I see what you're saying. So like Granny Frump's character is her hair is long and gray. And, and that's and, black. And it's characterized by like sticks and shit in it. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't have it. So like if you wanted to argue that's a prototype for Granny Frump, fine. But I also have a prototype of Spider-Man that I can sell you. Is, um, but is Wolverine in that episode or not? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so so that's that's the physical stuff that I have retained up until this point in time, and I'm fascinated. Okay. And I, I had the only other thing that's coming in the mail. I can't show it. Um, I'll give you the name though. Uh, I purchased the only copy. Good luck finding another one. Um, this is New York Magazine, October twelfth. 1963 uh this is the first appearance of cousin it and it's it's literally coming in the mail when oh, where is it? okay so where wait right now it'll be when, here monday so 1963 and it's what August? uh 1963 october 12th october 12th okay 63 it okay yep, cool that's the first appearance of it okay so um in new yorker I mean, magazine you said 
New Yorker all of magazine. this is New Yorker magazine, yeah. Except yeah, for New the uh, except for um, the books, Home Bodies, which is the first thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, I I found something uh, that I haven't purchased yet, so I, I don't know if I should be telling you guys this. Um, but uh, when I collect comics, the way I collect is the following: I'll look for the first appearance. I'll look for uh, the first title with that character, you know, the first books with that character. But the other thing I look for is the first cover appearance. So did you know that the Adams family made a first cover appearance on the New Yorker? No, what issue? Uh-huh. See, I found out stuff here. Um, there's actually a, a picture of their house that's on the cover of the New Yorker. And it Which shows issue? them all kind of going through uh, the house. I it's on my computer. I'd have to go run downstairs to. I would. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'll wait. No, no, no I, I'm not going to say it because I have to pay for it. I haven't paid for it yet. God damn it, Alan! I just gave away all the goods, <laughs> and you're going to hold out on me on that? Well, I have to look it up. I'd have to look. I'd have to run down. But it, there's a, it's a cover appearance of the house. I think it's like 48, somewhere around there. I, I think that that helps. There's only there's only like. Like, uh, I think it's like three issues per month for the New Yorker or three or four issues. I think it's like weekly. Right? Yeah, it was it was almost weekly, almost weekly. So, yeah. So um, it is a cool like I, I, I found one on eBay. It's like 78 bucks or something like that. Um, so yeah, so there is a first cover appearance. So I thought that was interesting. I don't know if you that is interesting. Those. What yeah. year is it? I think it's 1948 uh, era. Now you guys are going to try to buy it on me. Uh, I'm, I, I mean, yeah, that would only be fair. <laughs> now we're going to go dead silent until you tell us. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll look it up uh, when I get down. I have to take a look at it, but. Okay. Sure. But, but yeah, I found that. So I, I, you know, I, I went down this rabbit hole twice with you, actually, Ricky. So the first time you told me about it, like two weeks ago, I think you were mentioning that you're like picking. These yeah, up. like three or four. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Whatever it was. I, I, I searched and found a bunch of things. And then because we we're going to do this show, I, I searched for more. <laughs> and then I, I was going down. I was like, oh, this. Is... So I, I, I went to Comic Vine, which, as I said, which is 70 percent accurate. And it said the first Wednesday was that um, the jump and rope one, the night crawlers one. Oh yeah, so that's such bad information. Yeah, it was like totally wrong. So that's 1957. Obviously, that's not right because even on the cover of um, of what's it called, a uh, homebodies, uh, you know, she's on the cover of that, which is 1954. So I'm like, oh, that's obviously not right. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's one of those things when you go down these rabbit holes, you find different things. And it, it, like, I've been here before. I've experienced this before with Popeye. Popeye is the most annoying rabbit hole of all. Because like, I, I like one site was saying one book and then an, another site was saying a different book. And then Stephen was saying another book. <laughs> another person was saying another book. And then I bought like, I bought the thing that's this big because this was another book. It's like, what the heck? I'm buying all these things that are not Popeye's first appearances. Um, so yeah, the Adam family is definitely a, a rabbit hole, and especially because he didn't name the characters. That is, he so, didn't name the characters. So obnoxious, and it makes it really hard to figure out when they um, when they appear because of that. Um, but now you're looking for that cover, aren't you? I am. <laughs> well, it's not in 1948. I don't know what you. I think you're giving us a bum steer. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll we'll have to wait for that unboxing that I'm doing. You know, you uh, you don't play fair. <clears throat> I'm saying well, you're trying to buy it when I'm like you never you you don't play fair. <clears throat> well, you, you wouldn't even know play. about this, Alan, if it wasn't for me. That doesn't matter. Once he has the information, he's he goes Once like. Once I that. buy it, sure, Animal. you can get the other copies. Okay. Animal. I like. Yeah, that. I'm like frantically looking for it now. Um. So yeah. So Alex, the comic, the 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 one that we thought was the first Popeye actually isn't the first Popeye. The cartoon book is not the first Popeye. 
The one that's behind me is the first Popeye. The that King Comics number one. No, uh, Thimble Theater. When does so, that come out? Okay, so Thimble Theater is nineteen thirty one. Huh. Uh, the King Comics is nineteen thirty six, I believe, or thirty five, somewhere around there. Hmm. Oh, I think. Oh, uh, maybe somebody found it. Derek found it, I believe. Uh, February twelfth, nineteen forty four. Uh, That's I, different. I think it was either 48 or 44. I, I couldn't remember the date. So, but it's a cool mm -hmm. one. It's got the house on the cover and it has, um, they're all kind of, it, you can see kind of an open section and they're kind of walking through the house. They're kind of doing their little things in the house. So it's uh, February 12th, 1944. Oh, wow. You see? And so it gets full cover of them. I thought it was pretty cool. I was surprised you didn't have it. I, I'm gonna hard disagree. That's the Adam's I don't family think house. There's no way. That's no. That's and then the, the people inside house. don't even look like them. It says New Yorker cover, uh, Adam's house home rent hostel. Yeah, and then there's like an old lady and an old man. Yeah. God no no, and that's it 44. Like there there are. Though. There are established Adamses before 1944. But doesn't that, that look like their house? No. Uh, and the reason the reason why I'm disagreeing. Okay. This is why I'm disagreeing. I'm hoping I can get this on camera. Um, we have a friend. Uh, we have a friend. His name is Brandon. Uh, Brandon from Mon Comics. Mm -hmm. He uh, works near Colgate University which is where Chaz Adams went to college. Okay. It is a well-known fact that Chaz Adams was inspired by a house that was near the college. And that was his inspiration for the Adams family house. I had Brandon send me some photos of the house and it's a spitting image. And they were actually to, to allay any fears of like, is that really the house? They were mm -hmm. going to tear the house down and a family bought it and renovated it. And it's, 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 they're petitioning to make it a historical site. This is the Adams family house. Okay. But if you look at the house on that cover. Get the hell out of here. This is a triple level. That is a double level. The characters and so, and it's in that that isn't, this is in a country setting. And then all the other. Maybe, you're, maybe it's a house. different, like maybe it's a different image. I'd have to. Okay. You, you can, you can totally buy it. I will, I will wholeheartedly disagree okay, with I'll, you. And look, I'll send you a picture once I buy the one, one. He might've gotten the wrong issue. Because it it's a triple layer on the on the picture that I'm thinking of. Yeah, I think that's the one we're thinking of, and it has like a doily on the left hand side. Can you show me the picture of the? the yeah, one on the... Here, let's see if I can present. Okay, the New Yorker one. We'll yeah. see if. There's a creepy guy slipping a Valentine under a door that she's got a chair on it to keep him from coming into the bedroom. Yeah. If that's the one you're thinking of, that ain't no Adams. I, I'd have to see it. I'd have to see it. You can't see it on the screen. It's no. Oh. You got to look in the. You, oh, you can't look in the bottom. I am sharing right now. No, and the bottom, there's like an approval. Oh, no. that's right. Alan films on a potato, folks. He can buy a ten thousand dollar comic, but he can't buy a five dollar fucking camera. That's right. Okay, I'm on my <laughs> iPhone. Okay, guys, I'm on my iPhone. This that's is no excuse. That's no excuse. It's an excuse. I I can't see it. <laughs> it is an excuse. That's what he says. It's an excuse. <laughs> And he says, yeah. oh, my gosh, look at this. I found it and bought it. Well, anyway, that's the way it goes. Okay, no, yeah. that's the same picture you just showed. I know. Oh, oh, you know what? Hey, I can take a picture of the goddamn thing on my phone. Why don't that's you just smart. open it up on your phone? That's what I'm, well, no, because I'm on a computer because I do this on a computer because I'm an adult. That's the one that Alan thinks it is. Out here, it's, it's um, I'm waiting back for up, Back up just a hair. Back up. It's not, it's not, that might be the one. I'm not sure. No, there's a, there's a guy and a gal. There's a yeah, woman in a the bed. One. That's the one. That's, the woman that. bed. that's that's not the Adams house. It looks it's like not Adam's a three house. layer. It's not a three level. I, I, and it's, not, it's by I Chaz. Can, it's by Chaz. I can Adams, see though. what you're saying. I can see what you're saying, and it is a Chaz Adams cover, and it is a house. It's not a three level house. There's nobody spooky in it. In fact, there's a guy slipping a Valentine underneath it. In the background, you can see a city. The house has never been represented next to a city. If we're putting if we're putting beans on the scale to tip it, aside uh, from it being drawn by Adams, I can't. well, it's also kind of creepy because it says quiet rooms, and they have this guy who looks kind of like a, a reprobate trying to 
get to the old lady in the bed by slipping a, and she's got the chair up against the door. Yeah, so he, he looks can't creepy. Come in. He looked creepy. I thought it's a little bit creepy, but that ain't no Adams family thing happening there. The characters don't look anything like the Adams at all. Yeah, listen to Alex, guys. Take it easy on Alan. He'll kung fu you all. It's okay? true. So yeah. Well, he now make me now cry. that now now here's <laughs> here's where Stepo can get a little bit of justice. Uh, now that I know how Alan plays, I won't share any of the other Adams books that I have located. Oh, okay. Um, because we kind of I got to secure them first, apparently. Because well, you guys were trying to take it while I was like, I'm take unable what. To Take what? He's the one showing the stuff. I know. I found one thing. Alan? I found one thing, and you guys were trying to buy it with with. You know. Well, oh, we wanted Alan. to see what it was you were trying to buy. Alan, you <laughs> showed your ass. <laughs> you guys are the ones that. He you does guys with are the ones that are trying to ninja on me. I don't know. Like, oh man. And and like well here's the thing most of the books that I've gotten are because I'll go on eBay I've done the research I go on eBay mm -hmm. and then I'll like it to think about it and then invariably these people send me offers and say like yeah I know I just want to move it because nobody's buying Nobody cares. this stuff you know you know th the weird thing is like uh, beyond the comics um, things are really cheap like I was I was always amazed by Little Orphan Annie how cheap I got like. The full book with the dust jacket and like perfect condition for 20 bucks. You know what I mean? And I, I was amazed by the fact that these major characters, like Adam's family, are like like really cheap. I, I picked up those two books, by the way, the the night crawlers and homebody. And and those are readily with available. The dust jackets. Drawn with and the dust quarter, jackets. Drawn and quartered is available too. Did you see there's a white covered one and a brown covered one other than the red and white ones as well? I mean, it's there's all kinds of from 1942. It's weird. It's and weird. there's copyrights. They have copyrights from 1941. But I think that's because they have images from 1941 that are yeah. in the book. That that's where they're copywriting it from. But but, uh, but copyright 41, copyright 42, but copyright 42 on the book. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I did buy a couple of magazines. I bought Wednesday and Morticia while we were talking. There you were got 19 more copies of each. Okay. You got so Morticia? there's still lots still available? Hold on. Hold on, Alan. You found a copy of 1938? I couldn't find a copy of the 1938 I, one. Yeah, I couldn't find it. Where'd you get it, Steve? Uh, well, it's I, the I, cover I, only. I, I, the the I, only I, ones that are there are, the, are only cover onlys. Yeah, I, I haven't found a, a I haven't found. It doesn't a have the copy. inside uh, pages. That's why. I wonder. Yeah, check check your purchase because I there's I've, two there's I've two been, the, from the 1938. Both are cover onlys. Yeah, I've I've been hawkishly trying I've been to find these. I've been watching that for a few weeks now. So. Yeah, I yeah, I mean the only other person that would beat me would be Alan if he got it. Uh, it's the one that has uh. The, Let's see. The first one is February eighth, forty-one. Home early. Charles yeah. Adam family mortician near Mint. Yeah, no. The, so the it's nineteen thirty-eight is her first appearance, and it's and a then, February Feb, uh, August sixth. Okay, and then of course the one with them hiding the booze. That's the other one I bought. That's Wednesday. Okay, that's I bet right you one. got a cover. Look at your you, look at the thing. I bet you got a cover. Yeah, it's cover only. Take a look at your listing because it's there was a there was two copies but they're both cover onlys because i guess a lot of people with new yorkers they would literally slice off the cover and frame them yeah they keep them because it was like a, a lot of times it was a, a like not original a very art. iconic covers and you know people would do that so yeah you're right you gotta be yeah, really cancel careful. that shit see if you can cancel it saying that you misread it i mean it's a cool cover but yeah, but it, but like forty but bucks. It's not no worth, way. It's not worth it for the, just the cover. Yeah. See, this is why. Yeah. Uh, I don't trust you guys. If I if I tell you guys information, then you'll ninja stuff. You <laughs> literally just tried to do that. I wasn't trying to do that. I was the one that found out the information. You found like I didn't try to get any of the things that you found first. I didn't try to ninja anything on you. Uh, well, no, when I told you about the 38, your first response, and I can show the chat, the first response was, I'm going to go get it. 
Yeah, and I was like, but you said you already had it. No, not the Morticia. No, I'm looking. Uh, that's oh, the only, I thought that, you got it. No, you no. It. The first the, the, the first thing I told you was that I got Wednesday. And oh, then you I misunderstood you. And then you bent over and you showed your ass. And here we are again. No, no, no. So I thought you had said that you got both. Mm-mm. Incorrect. Oh. You see, I, the thing is you just have to understand that you're dealing with a shark. I'm not a shark. I'm a nice guy here. You guys were the sharks. I, I said, wait until I, you know, I get a chance to buy some of these things. Well, the we, saved you, okay, we saved okay, you money on the house. We saved you money on the house one. Now I should have. Well, I think the house one might be real. But okay, I'm going to maybe get that one. Um, but uh, the ones I'd be interested in is drawn and quarterly. Quarter, drawn and quartered. Drawn and quartered. And then there's another one where it's like um, something abroad. There's one where it's something abroad uh, hmm. uh, or boarding or something or it's something boarding or abroad, something travel abroad or. Hmm. I'm trying to find this website. I found a website. But I, I found a few titles of the different books. Um, and then there was um, the one I'd be I'm not really interested in. Um, Uncle Imer, but I'd be interested in the Gomez and the Lurch. Uh, the Gomez, yeah, the, like I said, there's an 8 0 the copy. There's an 8 0 right now on eBay for 800 bucks. I'm not going to pay 800 bucks for it. I didn't, I paid one, I can tell you. Really? I don't know why I'm trying. I don't know. So, why I'm is that to expensive? Eh? Uh, yeah. Uh, Wednesday cost me about 200 bucks. Gomez cost me about 200 bucks. So Wednesday, I'd love to have too, just because I, I, you know, I do like to get those first character appearances of major characters to me, Wednesday, what's Pugsley's first appearance then? I'm telling you, that's the one that I, I'm, I'm going to need $500 and then probably six books that I'm wrong on to get approximately what Pugsley is because it's too it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not so if you clear. haven't done it yet, I'm not going to touch it. Okay. <clears throat> like imagine, See? imagine, it, well, no, here, go, go for Pugsley. I'm not worried about Pugsley. Um, the, you imagine, can't win, Alan. you're trying to be nice. I was, I'm no, you nice can't win. I'm the nice guy. <laughs> well, no, the, I, the, what I'm trying to say about is, Pugsley is. Now, now, Ricky, give now. Okay. Let's give Alan just a little props here. Cause he's trying to be nice and you can't poo poo him trying to be nice. Cause he is trying to be nice. So fair mm -hmm. is fair. So Pugsley, yeah. Pugsley is, imagine if Hulk, there's Hulk 180 and Hulk 181, but imagine if before Hulk 181, there were six different versions of Hulk 180. There's so uh, okay. many arguments that you could make about, okay, but then this one came out on this date and this one, it doesn't look like him, but it's the same spirit of the character. So technically it could be Pugsley. Like I've come to the conclusion that you are a mixer. And I, I wasn't sure before, but now I am. And you're treading very closely to becoming a villain. Uh, I, I underestimated you, Ricky. Uh, congratulations. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's all over the place with him. And so, like, no, you no, could but... you could justify one of there. There are one of at least five images Here, that I'm I draw know Pugsley of for you. I think this is the version of Pugsley. He's always like with the little like so in in. In the movies, we think of Wednesday as being kind of the gloomy and then Pugsley as being kind of more bubbly, I guess, of the two in the movies. In the in the cartoons from Chaz Adams, it's sort of like he's the evil one. He's like always looks like he's got the kind of like evil eyebrows going on. And she has more like the happy. She's actually smiling a lot of the, a lot of the co comics that I saw. So it's weird, um, but he's skinnier. He's not the pudgy character that we kind of relate to. Right, so, and there's there's so, images of him that only appear in the books that I showed off. There's images, <laughs> I would say, and this one this one is readily available. I don't know the name of the year, but if you can find the image, um, the it's the image of Pug, the first Pugsley in context with the other Adamses. Um, it's the mirror one that you said. The mirror one. He's in a Boy Scout uniform. He's saluting, and his parents are at the doorway. Gomez and Morticia, and they're going like, "Where did we go wrong?" That's the yeah. gag. But that that book, I know that book. Um, There's actually a really good um, 
image uh, that is of a beach. I'm not sure if you saw this. This is on the New Yorker site where they explain the the, the brilliance of Chaz. Like they're, as I said, they're very hoity toity. Um, they explain the brilliance of um, Chaz Adams, and they basically are showing, oh, he uses all these angles and all this. Like it's very. I don't know. I don't think you thought that much of it, but it is like it's really cool family photo where you have all the characters there and it feels like that photo defines the Adams family as a as a as a as a group because you got Morticia, you got um you know uh Gomez and and you got the grandmother, you got an octopus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then, what are you looking for, Ricky? I'm finding Alan a $250 copy of the first appearance of Gomez. Oh, okay. If you want it. Uh, so that's 1938. Uh, 1942. It's, oh, sorry, it's, that one, it, it's, a, it's that one that looks like the, the, the World War II plate that we saw. Yes. Yes. And I am sending it to you on Instagram. Oh, right, send it to me on Instagram. I'll, I would have found it anyways. But yeah. This is the only oh, other copy. Please, Alan. <laughs> Got this it, guy. Alan. What's this with guy, you? Folks. You're somebody seeing it, a, folks. Somebody dropped a bent quarter in you tonight. Yeah, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. There you go. I just sent it over. Uh, the, I mean, you, yeah, you can you can totally. Okay, that's that cool. That's cool. Um, bit bit pricey. Oh, I haven't found. Can you so find the, a the, cheaper one? The only the only cheap the only. So here, I was actually thinking about making this video, but I'll just I'll say it here. Mm -hmm. With what I've been buying lately in terms mm -hmm. of rarity, like the Johnny the Homicidal Maniac thing. Uh, oh, the, the, those are really expensive. Real yeah, cool. the, the Archie's Madhouse 22. Those books that I've been buying, I have single-handedly been raising the prices on a lot of books. Because what I was just about to say to, to Alan is mm -hmm. um, there was a cheaper copy and I bought it. Now oh, the okay. new basement is 250 is and the... 800 That's so how much it. did and you pay for your I copy? Did. Like 100 uh, something? Right or? here. Because I was seeing uh, a lot paid, of these New Yorkers and they were going for around 40 bucks. I paid 195 Canadian. So okay. like 60 cents American. Yeah, that's about <laughs> 60 cents American. <laughs> yeah, Canadian dollar is worthless right now. It's so sad. It's very sad. It's weird that you bought the New Yorker in Can from a Canadian, though. I, di I did. I bought the New Yorker from a Canadian. That's really odd. How weird is that? Well, but, they I basically mean, they, you they, did grew, it. They, you, they 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 inveigled it out of our country, you see, and mm -hmm. now they have it, and they're trying to sell it, and they sell it in a distressed basis with their with their crafty Canadian. Uh, I love it when they if they have something that's overpriced, they say, "Well, re re remember this is Canadian money." I said, "Yeah, I did the conversion. I was looking at a pocket watch, mm -hmm. a, a Hamilton nine ninety two, and uh, in the United States is a hundred and twenty five dollar watch, and for a nice one at the time." And they said, and I look, and here's his 992. It's very attractive. And I said, how much is that? He says, 225 Canadian. And I said, he says, but don't worry, because America would be less because you can take the, the, the discount. I said, that's $195. He says, yeah, isn't that a deal? I said, thank you very much. You know, 125 I mean, high is high. I mean, uh, the Canadians ain't stupid. They've had to deal with the, with the conversion rate for a long time, which – you know, when it was at par, then they didn't know what to do. They were trying to buy. Oh, yeah, I was buying. Buy. I, I was buying. That's when I. Got, that's one of the things that got me back into buying all the keys, <laughs> because the do, when the dollar was parity, I was like, "Wow, everything's so cheap." I was like, "Awesome." Uh, Ricky, I want to just congratulate you and say that I admire the hell out of the work that you've done on I this know. because you this really, really were working with vapors to figure out what's mm -hmm. what. And where it is, and that is that is a really an amazing. Uh, I, I appreciate being a detective in comic stuff or with comic related stuff, especially when you have something as oblique as the New Yorker, where they don't have the they don't name anything, and then you have to be able to fathom where everything is, uh, and be a detective, and then to try and find them. Uh, where I don't know how many people save New Yorker magazines, like say. I want a Life magazine. Will or buy a, a National Geographic. You know, a National Geographic you probably can find, but but New Yorker magazines and a lot of the periodicals they don't survive. I mean, it, it dusty bins and stuff like that where you mm -hmm. find these. So, but no. I admire that. I congratulations on your hard work. That's really no. interesting and a great topic. And you're the one, you're the one that's starting the ball rolling on all this. And I hope you get all your stuff now. Get it first, everybody, yeah. anybody else starts getting all this stuff for your hard work and sharing it with us tonight. That's awfully nice of you. 
Mm-hmm. Well, I so, appreciate it. But I'm, so I, I'm the only character that I haven't got. So the only characters I don't have are Pugsley, Morticia, and Fester. Oh, Matt, that's, that's, that's such a bad joke. The two the American guys won't get it, though. Uh, yeah. I know where that... the loony is. Well, I know. I see. I know two loonies right now, but. Um, but. Well, do you have There's a double mirror? Point. Do you have a double mirror? <laughs> so yeah, there's also a coin. That's all I was just going to say. And then I do I do want the <laughs> and this is important so someone in the chat uh uh nowhere bound. Can you put him up? He said yeah. he he has oh no, uh go go t- three oh, above. Oh, a couple up? Yep, yeah, right there the next nowhere bound. Yeah. So, okay, this book it's not just the first appearance of the Adams in comics, although that is something to collect. That's it what, yeah. is the first time these characters are named. That's the, the That's CGC true. has not made that distinction, but it is, that is true. A big deal, yeah. That it's true. It, it came out. Um, hold on. What, I think it came. When, what year was it? It was 74. And then, the, so the TV show was 64, but this is the first time that the Adams family is named in print. So that I believe that is significant because up until that point, they've existed for like almost 30 years. Right. And they still had only been named in the TV show. But in print, that book has that has that distinction. There's a, one more bit of information that I found out that might be useful. You guys didn't like my house. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with you, but there is one information that I did find. So one of the things that I always try to do is. I don't like opening up my comics. I'm I'm always scared of opening up my comics because I just showed a jumbo 69 and the corner fell off when I tried to show things. Oh it's God, like, that was just it was like, awful. <laughs> okay. So this is the kind of experience I have whenever I open my books, something bad happens. But so one of the things I do is I try to find online where to read these things online. And that's especially important for doing these kind of rabbit holey kind of searches for first appearances. Now, uh, the New Yorker actually has an archive of all of their books for a dollar a week. That's the subscription. Yeah, that's the subscription. So you can, you can buy the subscription. I was trying to find some other place because I'm cheap. I don't even pay, <laughs> I'm to pay a dollar a week. Okay. So the point is um, I couldn't find another place. So I just wanted to tell people, if you really want to get the New Yorker and do the research, they're all available. They're all archived on their site. So, so my, my wife is going away this weekend for a girl's weekend and she mm -hmm. thinks I'm going to be playing video games and eating pizza all weekend. Mm -hmm. What she, a laudable, a laudable goal, a a laudable goal, laudable goal. But what she doesn't know is I did get the New Yorker subscription and I'm starting on 1938 and I'm going to go issue by issue and I'm going to catalog every single appearance with a note as to what they are so that I have a master list because a master list does not exist. I'm going to actually tell you to do something a little different. There's actually one, there's two sites where I found maybe potentially earlier first appearance of the Adams family than August 6th, 1938. So um, I actually found that there might have been Adams something, something Adams family-ish in June of 1938. Your track record of suggesting that that so, mobile so no, home was, was the Adams on, family house? Mobile yes, home? I <laughs> so I'm just saying, I found this, but, it's I, the single but wide. I couldn't She's verify beauty. it. Well, you I said it was, it was August 6th? August 6th, 1938 is first Morticia. Yes. But... But what I found was on Wikipedia, if you look at Wikipedia, and right. there's another site that also said, oh, um, Chaz Adams, he, he started at the New Yorker in 1932, became a regular, and then in 19, June of 1938, until his death in the 80s, uh, he was doing this the strip of the Adams family. So that sort of sets the date as being June. Weird. So I thought that was very odd. Um, so I was, there's actually right now, all of the June issues are available on eBay. Um, I was debating <laughs> buying them all just to, you know, potentially find, but I'd rather not buy them all and, uh, just have somebody look up through those issues and look at the cartoons and you, you can, well, I'll make a note. Cause uh, so I'm I'll saying, start, just I'll start with June. Earlier. I'll start with June. I would actually I'll... start 
I'd recommend starting with um, uh, May and then, you know, just to kind of overdo it and then mm. work your way up because it's just flipping through and seeing the cartoons, right? Yeah. So, was, I mean, it, it's, it's like a, it's almost like a Netflix for, you know, for New Yorkers. So I, I do want to mm. flip through. I also want to collect um, Charles Adams did some really cool, just like generally spooky covers. Like there's mm -hmm. one where it's like a swamp and in the night sky is just like a swarm of like classic witches on broomsticks. There's another one where it's a graveyard and it's full of crows and just like generally spooky images by Charles Adams. I am a Chaz Adams fan. I'm a mm -hmm. fan of the family, of course. However, um, I do. I, I do want to get more of just him. I think he had an interesting life. I think he had an interesting style. Mm -hmm. um yeah okay so i've sent you down another rabbit hole so um, you sent me down another rabbit hole i'm gonna look okay. your master list that is going to be one hell of a, an endeavor but i'm gonna and, and i promise the internet um hey go over and subscribe to all sorts of words if you haven't you jerks uh but yep. uh once i all once right, i have it to you in the great pitch they they love you, that's a great you pitch. Ducky nerds, go over to all sorts of words. Do something worthwhile. Do something that'll make your mom proud for once when you call. What did you do this week, honey? You don't have to tell her you lived in the couch eating Cheetos. You could tell her I subscribed to all sorts of words, if and she'll they can actually get out be proud of, the basement of you. To do this, they'll subscribe. To you'd you. have to leave yes. the basement. Yeah, you'd have to yeah. pull your your dick out of that microwave cantaloupe for six seconds. Oh, too much information. Too much. Okay, so um, in the description of this video, actually, I did link to your channel. That's the kind of nice guy that I am. Okay. Oh, I am actually a nice guy. guy. Wow. I said, don't subscribe to uh, the Collecto you know, 6 I mean, so, Instagram, though. You have to but... have the insults in hand. It just, it fell completely short. I, I, I appreciate the effort, however, you marplot, but there is no way in the world mm -hmm. you can, the insult must be hit. And I will tell you that I wouldn't go to just. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't work okay mumbles yeah. it just doesn't work yeah okay. so guys if anyone ever is one like watches this archive and they wonder like what here's the thing <laughs> there is there is a level level of competitiveness once you get into books that are this scarce and we are making fun of it but it's all love so i'm making yeah. fun of alan because he knows why because he 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 is until i get the books your wife isn't coming home by the way, sorry. Damn. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> when you get the postcard from Ottawa, you'll say, wait a minute. She yeah. must go to Ottawa. She's going to take off her pants in front of me and there's going to have like uh, province <laughs> stamps all over her butt like a Looney Tune. <laughs> oh. From all the places her ass has been. <laughs> <laughs> your, your wife must love you a lot, Ricky. I have oh, to I'm going to petition to have her sainted when she, when I, <laughs> when she dies. Yeah. yeah. Well, let, so, that, okay. let, that, let that be in a long, long time. Yeah, like, I'm pray, saying. Pray God. Yeah. Pray God. So, by the way, I got to wrap it up because um, there is a wife that has just returned. Um, and um, Mine I'm, too. So I better head out. But um, thanks, everyone, for watching. For all the people that have seen us, like, bicker and fight and, you know, and... <laughs> Fought over the <laughs> New Yorker of all magazines. Um, and um, yeah, it was, it was really great. Very interesting information, Ricky. That was awesome. Thank you for participating, chat. Thank you very much for coming. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I say again, Ricky, thank you very much for bringing this up. Very, very interesting. I look forward to seeing great what research. other stuff you uncover and, you know, all the, the uh, conspiracy theories that, that Alan has been throwing out, all this smoke and, and, and everything. That you'll cut through all the fog and get to get to the actual factual, and I well, like that. That it be has great. been shown that Chaz Adams killed Kennedy. So, um, mm. and <laughs> related to Oswald, yeah, that right. I, I heard that too. I was all right. Yeah. Okay. So, bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>